Hello and welcome. I'm Dom Hale for Australia's Mining Monthly and Mining Magazine. I'm here today with Taylor McCurdich, Regional Industry Manager for Mining, Minerals and Metals for the Asia Pacific region with the Endress Hauser Group. Endress and Hauser is a global leader in measurement instrumentation, services and solutions for industrial process engineering. Today, Taylor will be discussing how Endress and Hauser is advancing smart, sustainable and connected solutions for tailings storage facilities. Taylor, it's a pleasure to have you here today. It's great to be here with you as well. Taylor, I want to start off by asking you to explain how Anderson House's smart sensor portfolio, covering pH, turbidity, conductivity, dissolved oxygen and more, provides a comprehensive environmental monitoring approach for tailing storage facilities. Well, at Endress and Hauser, we offer a full range of sensors, and you rightly said some of them, pH, ORP, turbidity, uh, conductivity, dissolved oxygen, and we have more. And those sensors work together to create a complete picture of water quality and tailing storage facilities. Now, the sensors that we produce uh, have been built and designed for tough environments, and they deliver real-time high-accuracy data. And also, since we've been providing holistic solutions for many decades around our sensor suite, we can create even turnkey packages, such as uh, analytical panels, or even complete class-leading standalone uh, analyzer stations. These type of solutions enable mining operators to detect changes early, respond quickly, and maintain any compliance that they're required to, and with our sensors these days, we have built-in diagnostics, self-cleaning and calibration capabilities, along with predictive maintenance features that help uh, reduce manual checks of sensors and also ensure long-term environmental safety uh, where course uptime is of great importance. Well, that's a compelling overview of your sensor suite. Now, building on that, let's talk about flow and level monitoring. What sets your latest flow level and pressure transmitters apart in enabling remote continuous water flow monitoring, especially when paired with wireless and cloud connectivity? Well, our latest flow level and pressure transmitters are designed for uh, remote continuous monitoring, particularly suited for hard to reach tailings areas. So they're very accurate, they're very energy efficient these days, and they integrate easily to wireless and cloud solutions. So if you've heard of IIoT, so Industrial Internet of Things, these devices that we have are ready for it. So when paired with our own IoT platform, which we call Natillion, they provide real-time visibility into water flows and storage levels around the tailings area. So that means fewer site visits for operators faster response times for issues, um, better data for compliance and reporting. So it's just a smarter, safe to, safer way to manage water in mining operations. And these days it's not too expensive um, for paying for this hardware compared to uh, manual checks by operators because labor cost is typically quite high in mining operations. Um, and, you know, to have a robust automated system in place uh, just makes economic sense nowadays as well. Understood. Now, remote monitoring is clearly central to improving operational efficiency. Leak detection in tailings dams, however, is a critical safety issue. How does your suite of pressure, conductivity and temperature profiling instruments integrate with third party geotechnical systems for early warning? Yeah, that's a good question. So we knew, we know that leak detection in tailings dams is critical and our instruments uh, such as pressure uh, devices, moisture sensors, uh, conductivity and temperature, they all play a key role in uh, detecting and monitoring tailings dams. Um, but what's more, they can integrate seamlessly into third party geotechnical systems. And that means that you could create a unified early warning network. Now, we can use an API with our own cloud solution to send the data from um, our clouds to those third-party platforms. Or we can also utilize gateways that communicate, for example, via MQTT to those cloud solutions independently. 
a combined data approach for both process instrumentation and those geotechnical sensors that you might be familiar with with tailings dam monitoring such as LIDAR or seismic indicators, these can help operators uh, act before small issues become major risks. And that can improve both safety, regulatory compliance. And as you know, the more data that you're receiving and being able to analyze, the better and faster we can detect any of those events before they occur. Now, integration seems key here, particularly when dealing with complex sites. You offer cloud-based connectivity and monitoring platforms. How do these digital solutions enhance operator visibility, compliance reporting, and stakeholder transparency in tailings management? Well, our cloud-based platforms, like, uh, for example, Nutilian Network Monitoring, they give mining operators a centralized view of all the monitoring data anytime, anywhere. And that really means that it can be on a mobile device or their own control system or their computer or laptop. And the tools that are available from these cloud-based platforms really simplify compliance reporting. Uh, we can also automate alerts in those platforms and store historical data for audits or analysis later on. The other thing that they're also really useful for is that they can support transparency by making it easy to share information with regular, uh, regulators, uh, communities, and corporate teams. And we actually had one mining customer recently share the information directly from our sensors and publish it live on their community engagement website. And they did that to help build community trust for their operation. So it's all about turning the data into insights and these insights into actions while building trust with all the stakeholders involved. Well, digitalization certainly supports operational transparency, but sustainability is equally top of mind for the mining industry with Ecovardis gold status and published product carbon footprints. How is Endris and Hauser helping customers meet rising sustainability standards and community expectations in mining? Well, yeah, we're proud to hold the Ecovardis Gold Rating, which we've had uh, for a number of years now. And we also now publish our product carbon footprints. So this can help our customers meet their growing sustainability expectation in mining by um, suppliers. And peace of mind that the small amount of emissions created by our production facilities and the products that they purchase can be negated or reduced um, later on. Now, our instruments are designed with energy efficiency and life cycle transparency in mind. So when you choose Andres and Hauser instruments, it means that operators uh, can reduce their environmental impact and demonstrate their responsible practices to communities and regulators alike. Because it's not just about compliance for us, uh, like there's no requirement for us to publish our product carbon footprints but it's about leadership in the sustainability journey that we're all working towards. Uh, we're also working on initiatives to reduce and even eliminate the carbon footprint of our sensors um, and reinforce the entire life cycle management with complete device reuse and recycling. Well, sustainability and digitalization go hand in hand, especially as the industry evolves. But looking ahead, how are AI and predictive analytics being embedded into your tailings ecosystem and how is the concept of a digital twin for tailing storage evolving in your roadmap? Well, we're actively embedding AI and predictive analytics into our tailings monitoring solutions. We already have some AI prototypes out in the field, and these are delivering some additional information from what traditional sensors can't. Uh, we would call them soft sensors. Uh, and our predictive analytics ability of our sensors can lead to class leading reliability and accuracy. So our vision would be including of a digital twin for a tailings facility, which is a dynamic model, which combines both real time sensor data with historical trends and simulations. Now this can help operators test different scenarios, perhaps predict some future outcomes as well with the tailings storage facilities and optimize performance, such as improving beaching angles or um, enabling the storage of the tailings to um, uh, take up the maximum space that they can within the storage facility. Uh, 
So it's a powerful step towards like a safer, more efficient tailings management as we go into the future. Well, thank you, Taylor, for your time today. It's been really great to hear insights. Today, I've been speaking with Taylor McCurditch, Regional Industry Manager for Mining, Minerals and Metals for the Asia-Pacific region with the Anderson Hauser Group. I'm Dom Hale. Thanks for watching.